Hey there, Jillian Kaplan here from JillianKaplan.com. And today I want to come to you and talk to you about being pregnant and health and fitness. So some of you may know that I am pregnant. I'm about 18 weeks pregnant right now as I'm recording this video. And um, I am a health and fitness coach. And what I do is I help people lose weight, get in shape, get healthy, feel good. It's not about getting skinny for me, it's about getting fit. I don't do wraps, I don't do pills, I don't do crash diets. So the great thing about that is that I can continue what I do throughout my pregnancy as long as I feel good. Now, I'm gonna preface this by telling you I'm not a doctor and you should definitely listen to the advice of your doctor when coming up with a health and fitness routine for you while you're pregnant or after you've had a baby, um, whatever it is, that, that stage of prepartum or postpartum life, right? So for me, my doctor and midwife both told me that I could do whatever I was doing before I was pregnant as long as I was comfortable. So that meant like, if I'm not running marathons, don't start now, right? And I wasn't running marathons before, so I'm not starting. I've been very lucky. Um, I was not sick my first trimester. I was extremely tired and it was very hard to get going. Um, and they actually told me no caffeine my first trimester. So it was hard to start a workout. But then once I did it, I felt like so much better. So working out really, really, really helped me. Um, I did a lot of Pilates and yoga my first trimester because I felt like it was low impact and helped me a lot. I then moved into a kickboxing program called Core de Force, and um, I did a couple um, pre pre pregnancy workouts that really concentrated on moves that will help me during childbirth. And now I'm doing a low impact cardio dance based program. The only thing I'm finding uncomfortable at this point is bouncing. And just totally honest. Um, I'm up like 15 pounds. I've gained about 15 pounds in this pregnancy. I am still eating healthy. I've added about 300 calories, which is about what I need, but I'm eating those in, cal in healthy calorie foods. So I'm not having like ice cream at night. Uh, I'm having extra eggs or extra protein or extra fruit um, or extra healthy carbs. Um, and so you know, green, something like that, I'm having extra of. So I am eating a little bit extra calories, but I'm sticking to really whole foods. And of course, my Shakeology, because that's what works for me. Both my doctor and my midwife approve Shakeology for pregnancy. And for me, it was really important to know that I was drinking something that was healthy for pregnant women, because that means it's super healthy, right? With 70 fruits, veggies, and superfoods in it. Once again, every doctor and midwife is different, so be sure to consult them before you, you know, at, before you start a health and fitness plan or an eating plan for yourself. So um, even even though I'm up all that weight and things are kind of like jiggly, I'm retaining a lot of water. I feel like, um, and my chest hurts. Just being totally honest with you guys, it is very hard for me to bounce. So I'm doing like very low impact moves when they're jumping. I'm just raising my heels and that's what works for me. So for me, this pregnancy journey is health and fitness based. Many of you guys know I had a terrible accident, um, and health and fitness, pretty much saved my life and helped my recovery immensely being fit before my accident. And I never want to give up being fit, even though I've gained a ton of weight and I'm uncomfortable with that. Just being totally honest with you guys, I had to throw away my scale because I felt like my old habits were coming back. I was a binge eater. I was a diet pill addict and I used to weigh myself incessantly. And that's what was starting to happen. And I talked to my midwife about it and she was like, listen, I'm going to be honest with you. I'm not concerned with your weight gain, but I don't want you to fall into those old habits. Um, and what the reality is that whether you gain a pound or 20 pounds, you're not going to be happy, right? Because you've worked so hard to get to this point. So you need to get rid of your scale. So I feel much better now that I've gotten rid of my scale. I'm still in that weird phase where people are like, is she chubby or is she pregnant? <laughs> I haven't like quite popped the belly yet. Um, but I am feeling better about where I am. So I think that's really, really important is to get yourself to a comfortable place. Um, if you struggle with your weight in the past, like I have 
I totally understand where you're coming from. Try to get off the scale and go with how you're feeling and just continue to eat healthy and work out as your body allows you to, right? Do things your body allows you to. Don't kill yourself. Don't go overboard. Just take it easy. So for me, like I said, um, I have continued my health and fitness journey because it, it is not about weight loss, right? It's never been about weight loss. It's about feeling good, being healthy, um, getting to a point where you're comfortable in your own skin, being able to go outside and run and jog and play with your kids or your dogs or your husband or whatever and not be uncomfortable. And so while I could use this as an excuse for like, oh, I'm just going to gain a bunch of weight and eat whatever I want and not work out, that's not me. That's not what I want. Like, I know that these workouts are helping my energy. They're going to help me with labor. Eating healthy is going to help my baby like you would not believe, right? Um, and the Shakeology has really helped my cravings and to keep my hunger at bay. I had extreme hunger in my first trimester. I was mentally satisfied, but I was physically hungry all the time. Like I would eat um, like eggs and scrambled with um, like turkey sausage and veggies and top it with avocado, lots of protein and healthy fats. And 30 minutes later, I was ready to chew off my arm and it was a physical pain. It hurt, but I didn't mentally want to eat anything. I was mentally satisfied. So um, I have my Shakeology right here, tropical, vegan tropical strawberry um, with some mango in there. And that has really helped me um, keep that hunger at bay. Now that I'm in my second trimester, that extreme hunger has subsided, which is super helpful. So I wanted to come to you a little bit and talk to you about my journey um, as you know a fit mom and continuing in my fit pregnancy. I'm not saying I'll be able to work out all 10 months of pregnancy. I hope I'll be able to, but there's no guarantee. So I'm doing what I can now because right now I can, right? So I'm going to take advantage of that because I feel lucky that I'm able to get up and move. Um, and I know that there are women out there that can't, that don't feel good, that are on bed rest, that need to take it easy. And so I feel like I'm doing this for me, but I'm also doing this for people like that because I have the ability to do it. And so I'm going to take advantage of that. So I want you guys to think about that. If you're one of those women that has the ability to work out, think about that. That's like, it's not a hindrance, it's a blessing, right? It's awesome to be able to work out and feel your body right and get out there and walk and exercise and do what you're comfortable with. So I hope this was helpful for you guys. If you have any questions, feel free to shoot me a message, ask them below. Um, I'm more than happy to help. Like I said, I'm not a doctor or a nurse or a midwife. This is just what I'm doing for me. So you should always definitely consult your doctor before um, starting any sort of exercise or eating plan while you're pregnant. So have a great rest of your day and I'll talk to you later. Bye.